Hi friends. Um, I'm starting off with a clean set here, a clean slate for Vegas tomorrow. So I figured I'd go with a retired set called a uh, Florentine Mosaic. I am wearing um, a Biza Nights on my toes, a bright, beautiful purple. You can kind of see it in here. Um, so I don't know, I just thought it'd be something fun to have on my uh, fingernails. So um, I'm going to show you how to apply them. Um, a lot of people are afraid to apply these, but you know, they don't require a lot of um, tugging and pulling. It's just, you know, you put them on and you press them onto your skin and it's done. So let me show you. Each set comes with 16 um, 16 strips that you can use on either side and it comes with easy application instructions as well and two alcohol preps and a cute little file to take off the ridges or edges rather so you just open it up and I uh, measure which ones you'll be needing these are usually for the big toes so I just take this one off and we're gonna do is you always start with your pinkies and you work your way down to your thumbs because you use your thumb as um, as a tool to um, to cut off the edging separating the um, the strip so this one is usually my pinky size so you pull off the strip the clear strip here and if you take a little whiff at it can you whiff it can you whiff it it's a hundred percent real nail polish guys these are not stickers they are not um, anything else but a hundred percent pure polish you take off the tab and each side has a side that's a little bit bigger a little bit smaller so what I'll do my nail is it's kind of big so I'll use this side lay it right down in the center and they're a little bit tacky I find the glitter uh, ones are a little tackier from the back and not as uh, pliable or forgivable to uh, lift up so what you do here is just press into the nail okay so you press in get all the edges and I'm taking off this edge here because I do not like for it to be on the cuticle obviously you don't want it on the skin because it's just gonna end up messing up and you use your nail your thumbnail and there you go there's this one done super cute and I'm gonna go ahead and apply this one to this thumb and what I'll do is kind of start towards this edge well see didn't work out that way apply it as close as I can to the cuticle without applying it on top of the um, cuticle and tug a little bit at it. Oh actually worked out pretty good for me here. So you just do a little bit of moving it around with your finger setting it in. You don't have to press hard and then you use your thumb to easily it off. There are my two thumbs. And if you had your baby with you, of course, you could use the little extra pieces and um, put it on her little fingers. That would be cute too. So move on with the next finger. Remove the top layer.
remove the tab. Place it in the center of the nail, kind of press down a little bit so it can grab on and let go over here on the edges. Oh, I didn't like that. So you see, I can go ahead and pull this up gently, especially the ones with designs are a little bit more difficult to manage, but you can do it. It's really easy. Bring it off to the side. You tug it a little bit. make it fit your nail. See? Just when you think it's going to get ruined, it's not. You're able to save it. See? Even though there's a little bit of a rip there, I pulled too hard on that one. I mean, you can't even tell. Okay, so then we'll go on next finger, put it in the center, pull a little, just slight little tug, and then again, slight little tug this way, just a little rub down, and then use your thumb to again take off the um, extra. So far, this is what we have. Okay, next. It seems like my fingers are average for the strips. I know I have a friend who is um, super tiny. She has like baby nails and I love her to death so I just use my um, Tuesday samples on her and I do her nails because she's just so sweet and tiny and I actually learned a lot of stuff by doing little samples on her learned extra stuff and she appreciates it too shout out to my Dolores Knight because I know she watches my videos done with that one then this one might come out a little bit, give it a little bit of attitude, but you can just, just be gentle with it and open it up. Make sure it sits on the center of the nail. Get it on this side, press down on this side. You see here, I'm not going to like that, and I'm thinking it might tear a little bit, but, you know, you just make do. And use the nail, thumbnail, to take it off. And it came out pretty good. I mean, really, there's no mistake that you can make, especially with the glitters, because they're really forgiving, as I've said a million times before. Then, oh, that's kind of big, but we'll make it work. So you take that top layer off, silver tab again, just be kind of gentle, especially with the glitters. right in the center. See right here, just try not to tug at it so much. See, and if, even if it goes a little bit over your cuticle, what you can easily do is use your nail to trim. So you trim off what you're not going to want. And it comes right off. Problem solved. Use your thumbnail. Then we'll go to this finger. 
I think I talk too much and that's why these videos get a little bit long. It's only supposed to take about 10 minutes. And I'm at 10 minutes and 10 seconds, but I talk a lot. So then just press it into the skin. I mean, I'm sorry, to the skin, to your nail, to the nail bed. And you just rub around. Make sure it gets into your... Um, every little area that you want covered on your nail. And remember, they're 95% dry. And what isn't dry is underneath. Um, that's what causes the tackiness for it to stick to the nail. So that's your 5%. And now we're gonna do the thumb. I'm telling you, I don't ever use my nails for tools. Like, you saw how I pick this up instead of using my finger to pick it up off of the mat even though it's a rubber mat it's just a habit I've been doing my nails for years and years and I just like to take care of them of my perfect little manicure so then I'm going to use this take the top part off the tab gentle gentle You lovingly put it into the side and then with a little bit more attention you can you know squeeze it so it can get to the other end of your nail and then your typical using your thumb to take off the edges Hopefully I didn't pull at this side too much. I'll be able to use it for this nail. But you know, like I said, you, were, you, you can just pull it around, make it work. The good thing about this nail is that I cut it super short because I actually broke it um, on accident. So there I laid it down the center easier if you start in the center and then you work your way to the side pushing in to the edges because it just doesn't look right when you have um, the edges showing personally for me I mean and you just take it off like that with the nail and that's probably going to be an issue because I just put, covered that one, but you can use your orange stick to, um, to remove the excess. Just don't tug at it too hard. Oh, 13 minutes and 30 seconds, of course, because I don't ever be quiet. And just do it. And I didn't use these alcohol preps because, um, I don't know, I just, I'm particular about the alcohol prep. So I had already used this one prior to um, putting the, um, the nail strips on. So there, that is done. And you know, you'll have some overlay here and it's best if you use your um, your little file to take that off only because um, like I said they are only 95% dry so it will start to get um, like lift a little you know if you don't go directly to bed or just sit around and do nothing for a little bit so just go ahead and in one swoop, take off the um, the overhang, just to avoid a problem.